Okay, I got the bridge work in. Made quite a bit of progress here. Got the ramps going up. Around the corner. Another bridge. And I'm trying to stagger this incline a little bit. I've got some of the pieces in the corner here are the same height. And then I've done it again right here in the middle. And we go around the corner and it gets really high before it goes into the tunnel. I've still got some work to do to settle the columns into the mat a little bit better. And then this decline here is really steep. Coming down the hill there, I need one more piece of bridge and then a couple curved pieces here and that will be done. But the train navigates it as it is now with no problem. And I was trying to sink this power feeder wire through the table the other day. I actually ended up hitting the 2x4. You see where the screws are. There's 2x4 cross beams under here, so I'm going to have to move it out a little bit or drill it at an angle. But other than that, we are still making progress, chipping away at it. Once again, I had to cut some of the inside of the tunnel out on this inner loop here. It was hitting again. So I had to completely disassemble everything and ring the tunnel out a little bit more. I think I've got it good to go now. And I got the double slip switch installed here. And you can see the switch that was in its place is now connected to the upper passing track. And once I get the next double slip switch, put it right here, and this switch will go right here. I've already got the hole drilled for the wires. And then we will have connected and successfully gotten multiple passing lanes. And because the switch for the outer loop is behind the double slip switch, I could run a train on the inner loop, navigate this inner pass, and still have a train coming through on the outer loop, cut all the way through to the inside, and then back, and the two trains will never come in contact with each other. So I'm real pleased with the way that turned out. I just need one double slip switch. And then of course, the marshalling yard will start right here, put a switch here, and now we've got all this room in here to make the switching track. And I continue to have problems with this locomotive right here to the point to where I'm about to communicate with Marklin and ask him what the deal is. I've had to replace the brushes in it twice. Once when it was brand new, I ran it the first day and it stopped on me. I replaced the brushes, it did, it ran fine for about a month and then I oiled it, lubricated it like you're supposed to do and it wasn't an hour after that it locked up again. So I put new brushes in it again and that fixed it and I've run it for an hour or two since then and then it just up and quit on me again. So I'm not real pleased with the way new Markland locomotives are working. As you may recall, I have also a big steam locomotive, the 88294, the 16-wheel drive locomotive that I purchased brand new from Reynolds Imports. has been with Markland since November 29th. And they say they are sending me a replacement, but we're going on three months now, and I still have not seen the replacement. Both of these locomotives that I'm having trouble with have Marklin's new five-pole motor in them both. 
So if anybody else is having issues with their Marklin locomotives, please comment and let me know. And as usual, Old Faithful, the Santa Fe F7s run like a champ. Both of these locomotives are approximately 40 years old and they run like they do the day I got them. So my next purchase is going to be F7 or I really would like to try out an American Z lines SD70 I really like that 12 wheel design and I've heard good things about them they're really supposed to be able to pull quite a bit of freight unfortunately I don't think the bigger ones can be will navigate the tight inner radius turns of the 8510 track and I've got this massive outer loop I can run them in see if I can get it to pull 15 or 20 cars but I've been looking at the Denver and Rio Grande F7 ABA set AG, AJC Kids out of Texas has several of them in stock as well as the Santa Fe and Pennsylvania F7 ABA set so if you're interested hit them up they've got a pretty good deal going and most of what you see I've ordered here came from AJC Kids and their customer service has been fantastic I've even had to return a few items um, you know the set that the Pennsylvania locomotive came with came with a lot of curved track it had a full two and a half loops of curved track with it and I already had all the curved track I needed so I sent it back and AJC Kids uh, did a return on it for me even though I didn't purchase it from them because I had already bought so much curved and straight track from them they just work the credit that way so they're a great Marklin dealer and their customer service is fantastic I strongly recommend them we're continuing to work on it as you can see I got the mountain is painted green still got some work to do there got to get some woodland scenic textures I've ordered some more trees we're gonna get the tunnel covers start smoothing everything out get all these extra bridge pieces and stuff out of here and then we can start working on the landscaping. It looks like I am going to have to custom build a bridge for this right here because part of it's straight and part of it's on the curve. So that ought to be an interesting project. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Another thing that I had to do the other day is I replaced the brushes on the Santa Fe F7 too. And I found a much better way to do it than what I had previously done in the past where I actually took the motor completely out of the locomotive and it made getting the brushes to a whole lot easier. Um, I do do a lot of maintenance on these locomotives. If you're interested, please comment below and I'll make videos of that too. These locomotives have been completely taken apart before and all the gearing components and the wheels soaked in isopropyl alcohol for a couple hours and then scrubbed with a toothbrush to make sure they're clean then reassembled put back together in the locomotive and oiled and they run like champs and I'll be happy to show you guys how I do that if you're interested comment below and let me know so we're making progress And we'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Z Scale Scotty.